Welcome back to another tutorial. Today it's all about camera tracking and how to put a text into your 3D scene. If you watch it to the end, I will show you some basics how to put light into your 3D scene. For the tracking I have the clip from my FPV drone and I want to place the text here in front of the tower and fly through this. Make sure your clip is already color graded and then create a new fusion clip and then we can jump directly into fusion. In the fusion with the media in selected hit shift and spacebar and type in camera tracker and press enter. With the camera tracker selected go to the inspector and we will do some adjustments here that will give you the better result at the end. Here on detection threshold put it around to 2.4. Down on minimum feature separation type in 0.04 and enable bidirectional tracking. Then check here preview auto track locations so you have visible what the camera is tracking and then click on auto track. Now you can see where DaVinci is tracking with all these points and it tracks backwards because we enabled bi-directional tracking. This gives you the better result. Then when your tracking is finished go over here to solve and then click on solve. So now DaVinci will analyze the tracking and give you a result how good the tracking worked. Now you see we have some different points here, we have green, yellow, orange and red points. We have on average solve error 1.44 pixels and for the best results later we need to be below 1. So we can go here to maximum track error and scale it down. And DaVinci will select some points that were not good. So I go maybe around here. Then you can delete these points and then click on solve again. DaVinci will analyze the scene again and will give you a new result. And now we are at 0.9696 pixels and this is perfect for this scene. If you're below 1, go here to export. Then we want to 3D scene transform and then click here on unaligned so we can select our points where we want to place our text later. Now I'll go to a frame where I have some good tracking points here on the roof where I want to place my text somewhere around here and I simply draw a rectangle here over these points so they are selected. If you want to add some more points hold down Control or command and select this point or you can deselect points by holding Control or command. If you have selected your points click here on set from selection so it adjusts everything to your points then click back on aligned and then here on export. Now we've got this little node tree here. You can deselect your camera tracking by holding down shift and drag this over here. We don't need this anymore, but we keep it here just for safety reason. Then you can disconnect your media in from the media out. And here the point cloud 3D, you can delete that. And the ground plane, you can delete that. We don't need them. We only need the camera 3D, the merge 3D and the camera tracker. And then just connect it back to your media out. Select your Merge 3D, put it in the left viewer so you have the overview of your 3D space. So that's everything for the tracking. Now you can take up here a text 3D and connect it into your Merge 3D. Type in your text, select your font and your color, everything you want. When you're happy with your text, go over here to transform and now you can place your text into your 3D scene where you want it to have. You see it's perfectly tracked here. I'm already flying through this text how I want it to have. Then I go all the way back to the first frame so I have a better view. Now the text is way too big so I scale it down. Somewhere around here. And then I check again and this fits almost perfectly with the fly through. You need to be very careful here with the set translation because when you place it too far back you can see it over here. When you place it too far back here like somewhere around here it's not in in your tracking here the the green dots is your your tracking and when you're behind these green dots and you see when I play it the text is not sticking to the tracking point. So be careful to not adjust the set position too much. You can adjust it for sure, but um, don't go behind these green dots because then it won't be tracked anymore. So if you think it's too big, just adjust the size and not the set translation. That's just a little tip here. So in my opinion, this looks very good. 
Now to have this text actually 3D, we go back here to the text, scroll all the way down and here you have extrusion. And then the extrusion depth, you can give some depth to your text, how much you want to have. And when you fly through, you can see this text is really 3D into your scene. But I will place it a little bit more to the right because I don't like that I fly into this letter here. Let me change the colors real quick. So I just copied here the text node, plug it into the Merge 3D. And then I just want to have here camera and in this node just tracking like this. So I can give this like more a darker orange color and this one I want to have a bit more into the gray like this. So that's basically it for the basic tracking and set a text into your scene. And now this looks very cheap in my opinion. It's not that spicy look that we want. We will add some, some lights into our 3D scene so that looks way more like it's really into the scene. It will look animated for sure but this doesn't look so engaging like we want it to have. So I will not go into detail for the lightning, I will just give you some quick basic tips how you can light up a scene like this. Make sure you have nothing selected, then hit shift and spacebar and first we type in spotlight, press enter and then once again with nothing selected hit shift and spacebar and type in directional light, press enter. Then first we add the directional light into our Merge 3D. You see in our 3D scene we have now this little light here, but nothing is changing so far. So go to the camera tracker here and enable lightning and shadows. Now you see we have some lights. Very important, before you move your light, go here to the directional light, transform and here to pivot. This is your anchor point and go here to use target. Then you've got here this anchor point. So when I deselect it once again and select it, we have here this anchor point and you see it's right behind our text. So make sure this is placed by your text. Now it doesn't matter where I place my light, it's always pointing to the text. So and in this scene we had the light from here from the right side, so the sun was shining from here. And so I place my light here on the right side like it's the sun. And then connect the spotlight into your Merge 3D and make sure here on transform use target is enabled so you have the anchor point down here. And then just place the light where you want it to have. I place it up here like the other one. Don't put the spotlight too close because you see it's really a spotlight so just drag it a bit further away or adjust the directional light a bit more to the other side. And like this you can play around with the lights in your 3D scene. When you fly through you see it's really engaging to watch. It looks way more high quality. And this is how you used camera tracking to place a 3D text into your scene and even add some basic lightning. With that said, have fun creating and see you in the next one.